So now we're at the second stop. This is where we bought the boat locker. Yup, yup. Look at that. Okay. Oh. Guys, do you see what that says right there? What's up, Locker Nuts? All right, I just rolled in less than 10 minutes before auction started. A little bit stressful morning. Dropped the kids off, had to grab my trailer because, uh, quite frankly, I'm planning to buy today. And I'm thinking if there's an opportunity, meaning there's decent lockers, I plan to buy big today. But even if, even if I don't buy, I'm still going to be loading that trailer with the other unit I have in Hayward and try to hit the flea market tomorrow. I got to raise some money and get rid of some junk. And there's plenty of junk in that unit, right? If you saw the video from a couple days ago, bad one. But, um, but today, I don't know. I just have a feeling like, I don't know. I've got a feeling today though. We'll see if that feeling's right. I'm thinking this is going to be a good day. All right, I'm going to get out and get started. Things are going to get hot quick. All right, stop number two. First place had six units and uh, strikeout. There was one. I got it on film. I'll see if I show it. And um, it was very interesting. 10 by 25. It just looks so junky. But there was signs of some decent stuff. There's a Craftsman toolbox in the front. There's a little amplifier. Tons of bicycles. But I don't know. I just I couldn't get a feel for it. It went for 1400 The bid was at 15 when it stopped. So... 1400 was the winning bid. I was on the fence of throwing it, throwing my chips on the table, but I just couldn't bring myself to do it. I probably should have. Most of the other ones were on the second floor, so you got elevators. They look junky, but I, they went fairly cheap. There's one on the first floor, which maybe I should have gone for, but um, nothing looked real good. But that one, that was a 10 by 25. That's a lot of room for potential, and it was stuffed. But I don't know. So now we're at the second stop. This is where we bought the boat locker. And uh, we'll see if we have some, I keep saying we, uh, <laughs> I don't care if all the other guys get lucky. I only care about this guy right here. I hope I get lucky at this spot here. What do you think that is, BMW or Volvo? Looks like a lot of scrap. A lot of extra time? All right, so I wound up buying one at that facility where we previously bought the boats. Who knows? Maybe this place is lucky for me, but I had to pay up for it. I paid a pretty penny, and uh, I'll tell you more about that in a second. And also, we're going to go back and take a sneak peek. I go back, and we go in and take a sneak peek. You're going to see what I saw initially. Pretty good stuff. Pretty good stuff. I'm not going to spoil anything. You just got to see it. It's 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 looking good. As soon as I'm done with this video, I'm going right back over there and uh, going to do some more digging. I'm excited. But um, I just want to tell you real quick the story with the car. So that was at the next stop, actually. And that um, usually they don't auction off cars. They have them towed away because of title and registration and everything. Uh, in this case, though, they did auction off the car because it was completely disassembled. They were just selling it for parts. Basically, it was treated as parts. Um, so it sold for a dollar. And I know that's cheap. It's a BMW. I think it's a 2002. Like the model number is 2002, I think. Um, I know it's a classic one. I know it's collectible. But in that condition, I have no clue. I'm not a car guy. All right. So um, 
and it would look like a tremendous amount of work. I know it's a deal. I know that I've someone else probably would have taken a plunge like storage scott for example probably would have been on that one um but uh it sold for a dollar because nobody wanted to play only one guy so he winds up buying it and um right as we're walking away this uh other gentleman who we didn't recognize he was at that stop there was two units he had gone to the first one was there for the auction i don't know where he went we walked from that one to the next one somehow he I, I can't even explain it because I don't know why he delayed in walking to the next one with this big group of people, but he did. So he shows up like 10 seconds after the auction ends and goes, wait, what happened? And they're like, the auction's over. And he's like, wait, I didn't even get the bid. Wait, that's, wait, hold on a second. I wasn't even here. And the auctioneer says, hey, sorry, too bad. You know, you should have been here. The auction happened and it's over. So it's sold. And the guy started getting upset. I was just walking away. I didn't think anything of it. Well, here's the deal. This guy, it turns out, this was his brother's locker. It was his brother's car. His brother passed away. He had come to the auction to purchase it. I mean, that's super sad. But why, oh, why did you dilly-dally in between the two lockers? There's no reason for it. It blows my mind. This guy should have been Johnny on the spot first in line. I don't get it. I don't understand it. Um, I, well, but the guy says to the new owner, hey, can I buy this from you? I'll give you 50 bucks. You paid a dollar. And he's like, no, I'm not paying. I'm not selling 50 bucks. How about 200 bucks? He says, no, man, I'm not selling to you for 200 bucks. And the guy, they go back and forth, back and forth. And the guy says, fine, I'll give you 700. And he says, give me a thousand bucks and I'll sell it to you right now. And the guy's like, nope. And I think he's like basically walking away and then he comes back and then it's like, okay, um, I'll do a thousand. And he writes him a check, gives him the check. The guy won't give him the keys because like, I don't know if your check has the money in there. I don't know if this is going to clear. So he goes, I'm going to go to the rest of the auction and then I'm off to the bank and I'm going to cash your check right now. So that's what he did. So anyways, just crazy story. Um, this does not happen that often, but sometimes there is quick money to be made by selling stuff back to the, the old owner or maybe even a new owner or who knows what. Uh, sometimes it does happen. But anyways, that's enough of that. Let's take a peek at the unit that I actually bought. All right, what's up, Locker Nuts? We are at the unit I bought today at the auction. Right here, 1,200 bucks plus tax. It's a little over $1,300 spent on this. You know that's a lot of money for me, so what made me pull the trigger and spend so much? You're gonna have to wait till I get this lock open to see. I think it's very interesting. All right. Let's take a peek. Oh, it's dark. Let me get the light on. All right, there it is. How about I take you for a little tour, take a closer look, see what you think. So, immediately seeing a lot of tools, right? We're seeing the, these snakes right here, snake, some circular saws right there. Seeing some tools, hoses, and uh, as it turns out, I did look up the guy and he was a plumber. This back here, I don't even know what that is. Look at that. It looks like a big old shut off valve or something. It looks heavy. Whatever it is, it looks heavy. But we're seeing a lot of tools and uh, a lot of stuff. And what's that up there? See that? That looks like the guitar keys. And that was definitely um, also, check this out over here. What's that? Well, you know I love my baseball cards, right? Just kidding. I definitely do not like baseball cards. Mainly because I've never done well with baseball cards. I've never had anything of any significant value. At least, not that I know of. Um, but really what I mean to say is I've never really found anything old, you know, of any vintage. Mostly I'm finding 80s and 90s and newer. Um, a few 70s, that's it. So who knows, maybe this is uh, the locker that changes my luck and I find some old stuff. I don't know. Uh, let's keep looking around. What do we got back here? Okay, here's another thing right here that I was definitely interested in. And a few of the bidders were interested in. What is this 
right here. From the door, we're a little bit closer now, but from the door that looks like, it looks like a brass or copper bell, okay? But that would weigh so much. So, uh, oh no, no, it's plastic or fiberglass or something. Okay, that's not a bell. What's it looks like it's, is it a sink or a speaker? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Oh, there's the back wall back there. So it's not too much deeper, but there's a lot of boxes in here. Let's see. Looks like a tennis racket up there. Okay. Um. Huh. Okay. So that's what we see. That's what we saw. All right. It is interesting. Twelve hundred bucks. Oh, this one's gotten a little bit nervous. This is cool. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Old saws are definitely interesting. What's that? There? Uh, hmm. Well, basically, I looked at this and said, okay, the guy collects baseball cards, obviously, right? It's a whole shelf dedicated to the baseball cards. If he collects baseball cards, that makes him a collector. What else does he collect? Who knows? We're going to have to look around and find out but look guys honestly from the doorway let me just show you something okay from the doorway this is what we saw and I think everyone is looking at quite a few people looking at what we thought was a bell baseball cards and the tools okay so that's what we're looking at did anyone see this because I didn't I didn't see this till after I bought it what is this right here okay not not this <laughs> not this like me oh, there's a little liquid in there it's not a pee pee jar hopefully uh, okay and not this this old heater okay no one cares the old heaters what I'm talking about is this right here powder coated metal there's a little magnetic what does this look like to you what do you think that is from the back so I'll tell you what I think it is. Oh, it's heavy. Yup, yup. Look at that. Cannon safe. Huh. It's obviously, it's a gun safe, right? So a rifle case. Gun safe, gun locker, whatever you want to call it. People definitely get into the verbiage debate with me it's a gun safe it's for locking up your guns and this is amazing maybe some other people saw it I certainly didn't I certainly didn't so let's see I'm trying to see if there's anything in there okay I just walked this thing out a bit and I rocked it back and forth the door rattles around quite a bit uh but I could not hear anything inside. But you know what? The last one I found that had three rifles inside. One of them is a BB gun, but the other two were 22s. Um, we could not hear that either because they were wrapped in towels. I'm trying to see if I could see inside here and see anything. But I cannot. Hmm. All right. Well, this is a, this is a good find. So, so far so good. One other thing that I wanted to find out is this right here. Some sort of trailer in the key. Let's see if there's anything in the guitar keys. You gotta find that. It's light. Pretty light. Mm -mm. I don't think so. Nope. All right. The guitar case is empty, Mohammed. Yeah. That's all right. <laughs> Take a gun case any day over guitar case, but. Yeah, that was part of the, why I bought it right here. I just saw something else though when I was up there. Look at this right here. That looks like a military bag, right? 
Definitely appears to be a military bag. Um, that's good. That's good. We like finding military bags. Even though we still have never really found any kind of weapons or anything when we found a military bag. We still like finding them. And look at that. There's a skateboard. That's another sign. Let's take the plunge on this one. Okay. Christmas. Oh, it's in here. Okay, work. Dump a lot, not this one too. Okay. Oh, guys, do you see what that says right there? Matchbox cars, trucks, good. This is uh, this is kind of crazy. I swear, I just told someone today maybe there's be some matchbox cars, some red lines. I just found a bunch. Maybe there's some more in there. Okay. 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 Not not the vintage ones. I don't think. I can't. I left my glasses in the car, so actually I can't even see the dates. Can't see the copyright year. Uh, looks like it might be a little bit older though. Maybe not. Nope. Guardians of the Galaxy 2. But this is uh, this is not too shabby. Okay. What did I say? I, I said if he collects baseball cards, maybe he collects something else. Already we got one box and matchbox. Oh yes. I was just sitting down there. Mystery. It's gone though. I think there's, there's a boat anchor right here. A couple more old saws, and there's a boat anchor. This guy's definitely a collector. Okay, what we got here? So, right now, we're just having some fun. We're just going to poke around a little bit. I got the trailer all loaded and ready to go to the market tomorrow. Let's see what's in this barrel. Hopefully, I want to know. Hmm. Wow, hydrochloride. It's an old bottle. Small thrash posters. Oh. Look at this. Tower thing, huh? Oh my goodness, look at that. Signed Metallica poster from 2006. That's pretty cool. Jimi Hendrix, that's neat. Aha, Jimmy and Jones. Got this down, that's gonna be good for some eBay right here. Use that. Um, we got a lot of boxes up here, and they appear to be paperwork, so got this down, opened it, and look at this. This is not paperwork. This is vintage wrestling right 
This is vintage, isn't it? That's the Newsweek with the wrestling article. May 2000, so 20 years. Okay. This could be good, yeah? This could be good. I know that the old wrestling stuff has been getting popular and valuable. And here appears we've got an entire entire box of it. That's good. That's really nice. Okay, that's good. Collector. Yeah, there's paperwork. So the guy's a plumber, and I think he may have even owned his own business. A lot of paperwork. That's gonna suck because we're on the second floor. This one right here, see that kitchen dish is fragile. Uh uh. That is not kitchen dishes. What is that? That looks like a high end. Mon what do you call it? A monocular? Monocular? Oh man. That's pretty cool. I see right below that it says night vision. That's pretty sweet. Oh my goodness, you guys, this is gonna be so fun. So fun. Okay, look at this up here. See that right there? I just saw there's a pots and pans. Right there is another Hot Wheels or something. A little box sticking up right there. That's a Hot Wheels. Maybe that whole thing's Hot Wheels. All right, so that's it. We're gonna cut it right there. I know I didn't show you that much, I, but that's all I that's all I did there yesterday. That's all I did. I bought it, and then I went back. Well, actually, in between that, I went to the Hayward unit. You know, the one that you saw a couple episodes of with the military bag and the military trunk and the big cardboard boxes, all of which were disappointments. Um, I went back there and took another big load out of there. Um, I wasn't even planning on going into this unit, but that. That Hayward unit was just such a big disappointment. I wanted to go into this one and uh, dig around and hopefully find something better, which I absolutely did. I absolutely did. The gun safe, the Hot Wheels, the um, wrestling magazines. I mean, we're just finding good stuff already. I know there's going to be a lot of junk coming out of this one too, uh, but that's okay. It's still going to be fun. I can't wait to get back there. I'm going to start filming. I'll show you everything. Uh, we're going to have some good times, I think. But anyways, uh, we're going to cut it right there so if you guys like what you saw and you're looking forward to the next episodes of seeing what comes out of this locker give me a thumbs up all right i paid a lot for this i paid a lot so we could see what was in there and we're gonna get to the bottom of it together all right but you're gonna have to wait just a little bit longer for that until then good luck to you guys god bless you we'll see you next time here on locker nuts